Hey there internet, today I'm doing an OBS stream. I have pictures all around my, my stream and I'm going to be talking about Apple's new VR camera. This is an amazing camera that can do 8K video, uh, 3D, 90 frames per second, which is really great for 3D. You really want a higher frame rate for 3D because it just works better. Um, I'm a big fan of 8K, I'm a big fan of VR180, this is a VR180 camera, and you can see right here what the camera looks like. Now this is made with Blackmagic, I'm a big fan of Blackmagic cameras, I own the Blackmagic 6K, great camera. This camera, I'm going to talk a little bit about the specs of it, and then I'm going to talk about what I like and what I don't like about it. So it has 16 stops of dynamic range, which is really great for being able to get really low light, and very uh, intense light, and being able to see a lot of things in great detail. It's designed, as I said, uh, with Blackmagic. You'll be able to edit with DaVinci Resolve, which is one of the best cameras for color correction. You, uh, it's designed to create immersive video for the Apple Vision Pro, Apple's uh, headset which you've probably already seen that retails for around four or five thousand dollars and you can finish all of your edits within Apple compressor now I really love this device it looks like it's great for underwater as you can see here all these images by the way were provided by my friend Casey Sapp I want to uh, reference him check him out on Facebook great underwater filmmaker and I think this is a great camera to capture underwater it looks like they have a drone component right here, although it seems like it'd be massive to put on a drone. I just want to talk a little bit about the size and dimensions of this. It seems pretty massive to me. One thing that I really love about Apple is their ability to take what would be a giant DSLR camera, digital camera, and put it in this small form factor that is the iPhone, right? And you have amazing video on this, 4K video, 30 FPS. And um, this is like the opposite. It's a massive, massive 8K camera. I don't know what it retails for price-wise, but I imagine it's going to be pretty expensive, probably double or triple the price of the VR headset. So you're talking maybe 10, 15K for this device. And really, the size factor doesn't work great for VR180. I've always been a big fan of these smaller VR180 cameras like the Insta360 Evo, which is very tiny, handheld, almost about the size of an iPhone. Even the iPhone with the dual lens here is a pretty great use case because, again, anyone can take it anywhere in the world and film with it. Once you start talking about these massive size cameras, it becomes really difficult to be able to transport this, put it in different situations. You almost don't want to put that somewhere where it might be dangerous or precarious and you might damage it. Now to give you the flip side, here's another 8K camera which I have and you can see the form factor of this tiny HD camera, super tiny in comparison with this massive other camera. So they could have taken two of these cameras and put them together and it would have been probably about half or maybe even a third of the size of that other camera. And this is a night vision camera too which is kind of cool. I might do a review of this. It's kind of a fun, cute camera. It's not amazing. It doesn't have the 16 stops of dynamic range. It doesn't have 90 FPS frames per second. But it is still a better form factor than what Apple put out. Now, I'm very excited about Apple working with Blackmagic to make these cameras. Totally excited about that. I want to see when it comes out, play around with it, do some tests. But right now, it seems like the form factor, the price the size, all these things are going to make it out of range of most modern consumers. So really what Apple needs is people to start filming VR videos with their cameras, with low budget cameras, and that will encourage them to maybe buy the Apple Vision Pro headset. And instead they're saying you have to buy this extremely expensive device. It seems like it's going to replace the Zcam E2, which is a great camera that has been around for almost four or five years now so that's a good you know thing to keep innovating and making a better camera better VR 180 camera but ultimately I think they need to make something that's consumer friendly so that way more and more people will get into it that's my two cents if you enjoyed this video if you found it informative hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification button 
this is my first time using OBS to integrate the images here so I'm hoping to do this more often because I think it gives you a good idea of what we're talking about and leave me a comment if you have comments if you disagree with me if you agree with me I'd love to hear your thoughts I'll write back in the comment section have a great day everyone and I'll see you in the next video peace